Here are my top five free trading resources that I use on a daily basis when trading the Forex markets. Number one, economic calendars. They're so important. They obviously show us what's coming out for today, but they also show us what's coming out in the future and what we've had out previously. Now, my favorite one to use is from investing.com. It's uh, the economic calendar here. I've just found that throughout using multiple economic calendars that this one is by far the fastest in terms of data releases. So today, actually, we had non-farm payroll numbers and on the time of the NFP, we actually got the data drop. And you may think that that is not that rare, but when you have information coming to you quicker, then for a free tool, the investing.com economic calendar is definitely one of the top ones in my opinion. I also use Forex Factory, but I don't use that for releases. I use that for presentations because it just looks a little bit easier on the eye, um, but it is very basic. Second, trading economics.com uh, this is a really really helpful tool if you're looking for anything to do with the economic indicators within a country so you can come here for instance and you can have a look at the GDP data you can have a look at the inflation rate interest rates see what they are at at this current moment in time for any kind of country um, they also have different types of things here so you've got a chart here for instance where I've got the US 10-year Treasury bonds and you can actually compare charts here as well so I think this is a really useful tool um, especially for free as well I think that you've got lots of stats here that you can check out yourself you might be watching Bloomberg or something and they might mention the inflation rate in the US Come over to tradingeconomics.com, you'll be able to find that information out. Third then, and a little bit of a shameless plug, my currency strength meter. Now, you might think, well, where is this? And it is free to have a little look at. Uh, I put this in every week ahead analysis video that I do here for Blueberry Markets. So if you go to our YouTube channel, go to the week ahead analysis, it's there. You can screenshot it from there, take that with you. If you do want to see like a update with my heat map and things like that, then you can have the option to join the VIP trading room. Uh, if you are a Blueberry Markets client with a minimum deposit of $200, you can actually enter the VIP trading room. You can see other updates from me as well but this is something that I incorporate in my trading it's currency strength now you don't have to use this one obviously there are multiple currency strength meter tools out there I just know that this one works because it's something that I built myself so I use this on a daily and weekly basis seasonal analysis then so number four we're going to take a look at equityclock.com uh, there are other seasonal analysis providers out there that you do have to pay for I think the best free one is equityclock.com. Um, they can come here and you can see here, these are just a small selection of the seasonal analysis charts that you can look for. You'd have to be a little bit careful when you're using free data. You have to make sure it's up to date. You can see this gold one here is up to date. It says 20 year time frame or 20 year range, sorry, ending in the 12th. Um, oh, sorry, the 31st of December 2023. So it's an American date there. And I'm from the UK, so it's a little bit backwards for me. Um, but yeah, gold futures here, you can see is up to date. So that's something that I like to take into consideration. At the start of every month, I like to come and have a little look at where seasonal analysis places um, highs and lows within that month or whether we're coming into a potential top or coming into a potential low point of a market. And uh, yeah, I usually do my seasonal analysis towards the end of the month. Finally then, COP reports. There are many websites out there that offer commitment to trade reports for free. The commitment to trade report data is free. You can download it straight from the Chicago Board of Exchange website. So um, if you want that information, just to make you aware, it is a very large file. Um, so you're going to have to go through that yourself, comes in a spreadsheet format, and then you're going to have to pick out the numbers from a whole host of numbers. Uh, believe me, I've tried to do it myself and gone through it and done it myself. Um, it's very taxing on your computer. You have to have a very, very uh, high-powered computer um, with lots of memory in order to be able to run it. But that is available as well. 
I find that barchart.com does a really good job of just showing you the basics. You just you don't need anything more than that, especially when it comes to commitment of trade report. It's a weekly report. Um, I look at extremes, so I'm not really looking at this from a point of day-to-day -day price action involving institutions and non-commercials. I look at it as where are the extremes in the market? Is that going to call a potential top in a trend? Or is it going to get the market moving in some way? So that's the way I use commitment to trade reports. But just to have a little recap, the first one, economic calendar, investing.com. Second one, trade and economics. Really like that for your data. Um, strength and weakness analysis, obviously shameless plug. Come to the week ahead analysis video next week. You'll see the updated currency strength meter. We've got equity clock for seasonal analysis and then barchart.com for the commitment of trade reports. Hopefully that is something that is useful to you. I'll drop the links in the description as well below. Thanks for watching this video update. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. Please join me next week in our live streams as well. I'll go through all this type of data and the charts to take a look at for the week. Thanks for watching. See you soon.